Right, so this wonderful Monday morning, we have decided to go out hacking and I'm starting the video from the very start and I will video as much as I can um, of this part, but there is only me and Kyle uh, going up to the field, so you might just get snippets of it. But we're just walking up to Fred this morning and we are going to... Kyle and Molly are going to go out hacking on Fred and Jupe and I will do some snippets from the ground. We hopefully will go down to the quarry but it depends if we can get in. It's hit and miss down there. But um, those of you that haven't seen yesterday's video, please go on and have a look because this will be a continuation from yesterday's video. But just bear in mind, it's super hot again and the flies yesterday were almost just impossible um so just bear that in mind so fred is up in the little paddock and um we're gonna go and tack him up straight from there and ride from there there will be videos of him obviously in the stable and tacked up oh i've dropped him the stuff throughout the week it's just because it's summer and we've got them out overnight. So we're just cutting time to do this. Let me just try and catch up so you can see. Oh, that's it's not hard to catch because he's right there. Right, Kyle. Go in, go in there. Got my bottle. Can you open your gate first? Bear with this Higgledy Piggledy video, everyone. It's definitely not very uh, organised and professional, but at least you will see as much as you can. That water container's full that's behind the gate, so it won't open, Kyle, once you've undone that. Now you'll have to move it, lean in and move it. But I think it's just important um, doing videos like this because, you know, you get a lot more of a personal touch and to see the horse a lot more than you would do, you know, just the ridden videos because all this is just as important. I mean, I would say uh, the word good to catch is... Oh, was he saving that bit? <laughs> good to catch is... Um, an understatement to be honest. That bridle should be set up for him anyway, Kyle. So you don't even need to put his head collar on to catch him. The only thing I don't think I'll be able to do is video getting on because we haven't got the block up here, have we Kyle? Bottom. Have we got anything to stand on to get on up here? Oh, I might just have to leg him on. Are you agile enough to do your jumping on anymore, Kyle? <laughs> Those days are gone. Now, he did have a bath after his uh, ride yesterday because he was super grubby. because I've got that other saddle. He is such a gentleman. He's such a kind, oh, kind and genuine horse. You have to roll these stirrups up because they can't oh. roll the stirrups up because they can't believe. As I say, guys, definitely not a very professional video. But, nevertheless, it's an honest video. Put that bottom number needs pulling off. Come on. Yes. 
Good. Keep on this side first. Yeah. But pull the bottom and the forward a little bit again because I think you'll lose that. Like the bottom corner of it. The front, like bottom corner. Oh, the flies. The flies. It's such a lovely horse. This, you know when you just meet a horse and they're just lovely? That's Fred. And you can see that obviously he's a nice size as well. Kyle's tall, remember guys? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm just, you just need, I don't know if that saddle needs coming forward a bit. You go for it, it's really far back on him. Is it quite big that girth? Or is it okay? Is it? Yeah. The one I used yesterday, Molly said. I don't know if the other girth's up here. That's not. You have to go up the other side. Huh? Okay, guys. Oh, just can you brush his mane over? It was really irritating. Uh, on his offside. Um, yesterday when we come back from a hack i bathed him as i've just said he just literally how he's standing there for kyle to groom him now is exactly how he stood to be bathed he literally loved it this horse just loves his human interaction he's used to living in a herd as well but he's also clearly happy without a herd as you can see so he's used to living mares gaudines on his own but he's really nice nature. I would um, challenge anyone to find any horse with a better nature. I mean, how good are they? To, is he to tackle? Oh boy! Right. There they are. Set off. Kyle's altering his stirrups. So. Honestly, they literally never get the stirrups right, these pair. They're always messing with the stirrups. But you can see there, minimal tail swishing. But just to let you know, obviously, as the further they go on and pick up more flies, that does increase. It is a fly thing. Okay, I've caught up with them now. And as I say, the plan is to head down towards the quarry. Um, oh, this damn car. Sorry about that, guys. The car is shouting at me. Yeah, the plan is to head down towards the quarry. As I say, depending on if we can get in, we will go in. If we can't, we won't. Um, so it's super hot, as I've just said. It's Monday morning, 10 o'clock, and it's already... Let me look. 24 degrees so it's hot um so we'll just bear that in mind obviously um horses welfare comes first but just look at kyle um this is the first time kyle sat on fred and you can see kyle's body language those of you that follow us will often see kyle like that because Ky i mean kyle is an experienced rider he is a relaxed rider in you know in general but at the same time he's not he's not going to be relaxed on a horse he can't relax on if that makes sense um yesterday's video was molly i'm sorry if the screen's a little bit blurry but you know the purpose of the video you can see the horses i'm just staying behind because we have just got a bit of road work to do and kyle hasn't got any high vis on so obviously i'm in a big car behind people will be able to see and slow down but he's super good in traffic by the way um fred is super good in traffic so yesterday uh was fred's first ride bear in mind he's only been with us for 48 hours 48 hours that's it so this is a horse oh, i'm so sorry this car's beeping its head off at me um this is a horse in its in his new surroundings this is in um inverted commas unsettled horse you know you're gonna say 48 hours they're settling in you're gonna see the most anxious 
the most um, unsure, whatever you want to call it, horse in the first certainly 48 hours, which is nothing. So just take a look at Fred. If this is Fred settling in, then we know how good he is. You just meet one sometimes, guys. And when you meet them, you're like, yeah, you're a good horse, you are. That tail's a weapon today, guys, for them flies. It's a definite weapon. That is a possible issue today um, because the route down to the quarry is all under trees and the, the flies are kind of 10 times worse than they would be really out in this open and they're pretty bad out here we do <coughs> suffer really <coughs> suffer a lot with the flies here <coughs> i know it oh gosh hang on <coughs> i know everybody does but it seems to be worse than ever around here so um yeah just one of them things i'm not complaining with the sun but you know with the sun comes the flies so um as i was saying when kyle was tacking up he is a tall rider six foot two it gives you a very good indication of the size of fred yesterday molly was the first one to ride him uh, molly was a petite female it's very difficult to judge a horse's size when you're riding next to them and videoing to them, in all honesty, it is. Um, it gives you more of an idea off the ground, but he's that versatile size where he's not gonna overhorse somebody, but you're definitely not underhorsed either. Obviously, you can see that by Kyle. So he's a really good size. Um, Molly is a less experienced rider and she certainly has very little experience of riding bigger horses um, she does tend to ride the ponies for obvious reasons Kyle can't so many ponies that we have Molly gets them um, and she does ride the cobs um, obviously the horses are something that Kyle can ride so Molly tends to not have a great deal of experience with the um, with the horses So yesterday was a big achievement actually for Moll, in all honesty. It was a big achievement because she was the first one on um, and a horse as well. Oh, he wants to tell me something. <laughs> Do you know what he wanted to tell me guys? I was blocking the traffic and I need to move on. There you can see Moll. Monday mornings, Kyle is not a Monday morning person. <laughs> He's that blimmin' miserable on a Monday morning. He really is. Okay, um, I've gone completely off. Oh yeah, I, I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, experience wise. Yeah, so a big achievement for Molly yesterday. Um, and that's a bit of, big indication for you guys who's possibly interested because you know, first ride within 24 hours was um, a small female and she had a fantastic hack. Fred looked after her perfectly. She really felt sort of, uh, her words where she felt posh. <laughs> um, because do you know what? He's like, Fred is, you do have a nice horse underneath you and he does feel very smart obviously he looks very smart and you do feel that you've got a bit of something you know he's got a bit of something about him but he also makes you feel safe so it's a win-win um you know and i think it's a good indication because as i said on yesterday's video probably molly's kind of ability may be um a sort of what's the word maybe uh will simulate the sort of rider that will possibly be interested in fred um but it's good to obviously watch as much as you can with them yesterday was not like an official video we were just hacking out because we wanted to go out it was a sunday and molly wanted to have a ride on him it is an achievement on her behalf still keep looking at kyle he's super relaxed and so is fred 
and again just have a look at no heads moving no tails moving I just like to point that out on videos in the summer because sometimes once the flies get bad and the horses get shaking and tossing the heads and wafting the tails around it, it's sometimes a bit of a bad look but it's not the horse <laughs> it's the flies so I'm just pointing that out. These are things you might take for granted and not necessarily look out for on a video. This is a lot of things we're used to looking out for. Obviously, the horses are in sort of assessment stage, but at the same time, when, a, when you get a horse like Fred who knows his job, it, it's not really assessment. It's more showcasing him to you guys. Um, so a little bit about him. He would be uh, around 16 hands. He's 13 years old. He's been in the same home for the last six years. He's been in the same home since 2018. He has been a pleasure horse. He has been a family horse. So he's not been, uh, he's just lived a nice, um, a nice life with a family who've enjoyed him. Uh, lots of hacking alone as much as in company. And I think you can see how super confident he is. And actually, that was quite good to see today, thinking about it. Because if you watch yesterday's video, Molly led the way, all of the way. Um, she went behind partly, but I didn't even video that because we were just literally chatting and hacking. But on the video, you can certainly see that Molly was taking the lead the whole way. Now, today, you can see that we've set out and Jupe's taken the lead, which is really good because you don't want a horse that will... You know neither a horse that has to fight for the front or a horse that has to sit behind something at all times you want a horse that is uh what's like versatile and you can pretty much slot them anywhere in the hack um and that's what you can do clearly with fred i mean if you do nothing else with him just this he's worth his weight in gold you you think how stressful life is especially with the kids off um, school or work days or whatever you want to be able to come in see your horse tack them up and go for a ride absolutely no mither and you can see with Fred that you can do that sorry I can't video getting on obviously but I was there was just me and Kyle I'd got no mountain block there I will do that this week but he's good as gold to get on just get on and go um, good to tack up as you saw fantastic too like you can do his girth up he's not girthy he's not sensitive at all you literally tack up do your girth up set out from wherever you are no mither absolutely no fuss no mither nothing he's lovely if we had uh, a purpose for him um financial situations space all the rest of it you would just keep this horse because you're literally always going to have a job for him he would be like the perfect nanny horse it'd be great for us because we could video off him because he's just so straightforward no hassle um he's not spooky he doesn't care in traffic he's he literally it's just a lovely horse very honest very genuine very straightforward beautiful absolutely beautiful i mean who doesn't love gray but you know gray's come obviously with the poo stains but he stands perfect to bath he's good as gold to bath so that's fine get the cold hose on him yesterday he was just loving it had a good shampoo and he was just in his element he's just a really all-round lovely horse and you'll hear me say that probably a god knows how many times in the video coming videos this week but he just is he's just the nicest of horses um you really do struggle to find horses quite as genuine as him both on the ground and under saddle he also loads and travels very well travel to us in a trailer um, on his own not in a rush to get out absolutely perfect and he will definitely be only wanting a long-term home because you know horses like him have been loved enjoyed very sad sale due to divorce so a horse like him absolutely 100 percent deserves the best of homes and i don't want to see him passed around 100 percent don't want to see him passed around um so as good as he is you know he's not um a donkey he's just a nice straightforward horse um 
and as I say he definitely didn't overhorse Molly at all and he was good as gold however you know he's not one that you've got to keep kick kicking he obviously is sporty um, but anybody who is reasonably competent is going to have a great horse here Kyle's on his phone as per always but you know we'll take advantage of that and have a look at Fred Kyle is now on a very loose rein Fred is behind chilling taking in the scenery not really caring about much at all he's got a lovely tail hasn't he right I'm gonna pull in because I've got some traffic behind me and I'll catch up with these soon okay so I feel like I've done loads of talking um, what I'll do is if we get into the quarry I'll do some clips in the quarry I might do some talking but I might also just put the video over um, put some music over on the video because I'm sure you've heard enough of me just wanted to get as much info over as I can um, just before I forget as well just to let you know he works happily walk trot canter in the school he jumps jumps both show jumps and natural fences um, he's just a super nice all-rounder and and as I say in a world where horses are just ridiculous priced he's not going to be one of those but a nice home is definitely sought after right I'll catch you soon hopefully down the quarry just pulled over so you can actually see them um, not through a muddy uh, a mucky dusty screen ah oh, there's jupe our old man got some water do you want some okay So I've just realised that I have done the whole video in whatever you call it when the phone is like upright and really, what do you call it? Vertical. Vertical. No, there's a di it's like landscape and portrait or something. There's a phone. T there's a phone term. Anyway, so what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to obviously I'm going to put it with the video that I've just done. So if you're watching this now following um the whole video of tacking up and getting down here etc then i'm sorry that you'll be seeing it on i think you'll be seeing it on a little screen not a wide screen i don't know anyway if you're seeing this um just as a video on its own there is another video out there with all the info the hacking down here the tacking up just everything so there is going to be a couple so if you're watching this video on its own it's probably not going to have a great deal of um talking in it because i've just done lots <laughs> um so i might just put a few clips and some music i don't know or you might just hear me talking who knows um but yeah what i'm trying to say is that there will be there's a whole long length video and then there's this one as well Right, I better catch up with these guys. Over the hills and far away Looking out for a better day When it seems like there's no escape Take me to my happy place If I could wish upon a star I'd take us right back to the start Close my eyes and live those days again
everyone so short and sweet we've got it all done like i say it's, it's like a blooming um i don't know what you call it's a sun trap anyway down that quarry um so you saw how lovely fred was happy to canter behind happy to go through the water in front he popped the log probably wasn't the best shot to be fair we'd have done it again but um it's just really warm so you can see that he's happy to do that he's great and he'll go out and jump natural fences so you can go and do some cross country maybe a little bit of eventing type stuff and you can see that he's happily leaving and he's behind he's not rushing to get in front kyle's not having to grab hold or anything you know he's just happily riding behind snaffle mouth by the way i didn't say that he's only in a snaffle he's not strong at all and you could see his lovely collected canter in there it was great so i'll turn around and get caught up with them so here they are making their way back this is where it's like really really uh, awful for the flies and obviously they're quite sweaty so i won't stay on the video too long you guys have listened to me with all the info anyway you've seen for yourself what a good boy he is out in the open space behave like the perfect gentleman than he is, that he is somebody's going to have a lot of fun on this horse a real lot of fun you can see that he's happily riding back behind he's not in a rush kyle's still got an easy rein you can probably just see that from his body language but as i say um flies are awful down here and traffic at the minute is using this as a through route because there's uh road work so we have to keep pulling in for traffic there you go see so i'm not going to stay on but anybody looking for something like fred be sure to drop me a message because horses like him are not going to stay around for long thanks everyone i'm still behind them because we've passed so much traffic down here but i thought i will just video them trotting home because that's something they weren't doing before trotting but you can see good as gold happily trotting and they're losing the flies as well. 